It's like 61, 62, somewhere in there. Me and Tyler, we don't got time for calculators, y'all. But that's what I'm talking about. There's like $6,000 being left uh, out there, right? Just because they have not increased rents, right? So that's the opportunity for the savvy investor to swoop in, pick this thing up at an incredibly low discounted price of only $49.9. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Or won't want to be giving it to you straight. Canton, folks. Canton, Ohio. It's where the cash flow is, man. Check this out, right? 1131 11th Street, right? This is a 3-1, y'all. A 3-1. And I have it priced at $49.9. Now, if you just look at the current numbers, right? It is admittedly not the most impressive uh, thing you probably have ever seen, right? $695 in rent. It's pretty low, right? Price point of only $49.9, though. However, here's the thing. What you guys have to understand is how much money is actually here, how much money has been left on the bone. What you need to know about the real estate business, and honestly, this is, this is like the biggest thing about uh, real estate and housing. We can make so much money off of other people's inability or unwillingness to perfect their own business, right? You see... The rental property industry is an imperfect industry. It is an industry made up of the majority of people in it who are not full-time professionals, right? Everybody like out there right? if you're if you're like, you know, watching the news, reading this, reading that, you think all rental properties are owned by these big bad corporate landlords, right? Like, ah, the boogeyman, right? Big business is out to get us, right? In reality, folks, that's not the case. In reality, like over 80% of the rental properties in the United States of America are owned by small mom and pop landlords, regular people who do not do this for a living, regular people uh, who do not do this as their full-time profession. And because of that, there is so many opportunities out there to improve upon processes, to improve upon profits, to reduce inefficiencies, to reduce costs. Right, So much money can be made by taking something that's not being professionally handled and professionally handle it. And that brings me back to this property, right? So I priced it at $49.9, guys. But don't think about this as you're buying a $50,000, $700 a month rental. Sure, the current mom and pop landlords have chosen to rent to a long-term tenant for only $6.95 a month. But folks, if they would have been keeping up with where the market is today in 2023, they'd be getting almost double the amount of rent, folks. This is all day, every day, a $1,200 a month rental property, y'all. $505, right? What is that over the course of the year? Is that five grand plus, uh, you know, like six grand or something like that? I don't know. Tyler, what is, Tyler, what's 505 times 12? What is that? It's like five grand plus another grand. That's six grand. Six something, right? It's like 61, 62, somewhere in there. Me and Tyler, we don't got time for calculators, y'all. But that's what I'm talking about. There's like $6,000 being left uh, out there, right? Just because they have not increased rents, right? So that's the opportunity for the savvy investor to swoop in, pick this thing up at an incredibly low discounted price of only $49.9, and then increase that rent. Now, someone who is a professional landlord, someone who does do this professionally, someone who does eat, breathe, live, sleep, whatever you want to call it, the real estate, the rental property business is your boy Jay Wise here, right? I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate, managed a $75 million portfolio, and I will tell you this, from my experience, having dealt with thousands and thousands and thousands of tenants all over Ohio, if we take that tenant, and in Ohio, you only have to give them a 30-day rental increase notice, right? Uh, once their lease goes to month to month, which this one already is month to month, you only need to give them a 30-day notice by law, and there's no rent control here uh, in the Akron area, right? In Akron, in Canton, 
No rent control. It's not the communist nation of California, which, by the way, if you guys are interested in buying the Communist Republic of California t-shirt, uh, let me hook you guys up. Use promo code HWTV10. Get yourself 10% off. If you click around this video, uh, you'll be able to find a link to buy this shirt. Uh, but it's not the communist nation than the Communist Republic of California. No, no, no. This is Canton, Ohio, folks. There is no rent control. There is no governmental limit to how much you can raise the rent. So if you wanted to go from six ninety five to twelve hundred dollars, all you need to do is give them a thirty day notice. Then boom, it's done. However, coming from a professional's perspective, I will tell you that it's probably not the wisest business decision. It seems great. Yeah, there's a bunch of money being left on the table. Let me put that money in my pocket. Jay Wise just got done uh, showing us how horrible at math him and Tyler are and uh, said there's like an extra 6100 that I should capture. Yeah, in theory, that'd be great, guys, but here's the deal. Being a professional, somebody who's dealt with thousands of tenants, I will tell you this. If you jack someone's rent up that much, you're probably only going to do one thing. You're going to convince that person to move the hell out of your house. And folks, we ain't going to make money causing people that pay rent have proven to be good tenants to move out. So what I would do, instead of making it so it's almost inevitable that this particular tenant moves out, I would increase their rent slowly. I'd probably give them like a $150 increase. Then the following year, do it again. Then do it again, right? Because if you do it slower like that, what you're going to avoid is several months of vacancy. You're going to avoid having to re-turn uh, the unit, right? You're going to have to rehab that unit, fix it up, right? Get it spiffy, get it rent ready again, right? And then you're going to get a new tenant who hasn't already had that track record that this tenant has already proven. And sometimes the devil you know is better than the devil you don't kind of thing, right? So there's more unknown with that, right? It's kind of like, hey, man. One in the hand, better than two in the bush kind of deal, right? So I would slowly go up, but legally you do not have to. There is no rent control in Canton. There is uh, no limitations on what you want to do in Canton. Only a 30-day notice is required. But again, savvy, savvy investors, savvy landlords, savvy businessmen know that turnovers are the biggest return killer. So you want to keep butts in your units. So despite that huge $505 monthly rental gap, I think you'd be best served to close that gap slowly over the course of several years to keep that exact same tenant in there so you don't need to do a unit turn. That's how I would do it. But of course, once you buy it, it is up to you. You can manage it however you see fit. Now what you guys need to do, if you want to take advantage of this opportunity, all that meat on the bone, send my team an email, sales at holdenwise.com. If you want to pay cash, great. Include the amount you want to pay plus your proof of funds. If you want to finance it, even better. Why pay $50,000 out of your pocket when you can have the bank pay 75% of that, right? And if you don't have a lender, just let my team know. We will get you lenders, and then you can pick this bad boy up. Sales at HoldenWise.com, Canton, Ohio. Let's go. It was like later in the day, you know? Yeah. Okay, boys, we're at uh, 1131 Northwest 11th Street. Something like that. Something like that. All those things are in the address. This one's the I don't know what order. <laughs> yeah, but there's a Northwest and a South. Yeah, we're on 11th Northwest Street. And I don't know if they told you, but this should be super quick because I have a second camera with us, so he can. He's just right behind me with the. Okay. So we don't have to do like two walkthroughs. Try not to get the little green. I'm filming you, filming me. You filming me, filming you? If he's filming you, taking films of him. What he's the filming fuck? You. Oh, the it's moon's in, right there. It's in pee pee mode right now. Pee pee mode? Wait, <laughs> if that's the moon, what's that? <laughs> it's a UFO. Oh my god, that is the moon. Ah, oh, Inception, dude. The moon Inception. And how come that plane has a trail and this plane doesn't? Chemicals. Does that mean that, so they're poisoning us, or is that a UFO? Well, it depends on which ones the government owns. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.